سفیر پاکستان آپ کے جذبوں کا ترجمان وطن سے دور وطن کی آواز اور آپ کی پہچان سفیر پاکستان سلام جیو سفیر پاکستان بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ناظرین آپ کا میزبان وقار علی خان پروگرام سفیر پاکستان کے ساتھ حاضر خدمت ہے کہ یہ کیسے مزاج ہے امید ہے کہ آپ پروگرام پابندی سے دیکھ رہے ہوں گے اور دوسروں کو دیکھنے کی تلقین بھی کر رہے ہوں گے سفیر پاکستان نمبر ون پروگرام ان امریکن کینیڈا مجھے امید ہے کہ آپ اس پروگرام سے ضرور مستفید ہو رہے ہوں گے ناظرین آج کے پروگرام میں ایک اور ملاقات ایک اور نئی شخصیت آج کی ملاقات ہم کرا رہے ہیں آپ سے ڈاکٹر ارشد زبیر سے جو کہ پلبرالوجسٹ ہیں اور نیو جرسی میں مقیم ہیں اور اپنا سے کافی منسلک ہیں اور اپنا کے لیے کافی انہوں نے کام کیے ہیں بہت ہی متحرک شخصیت ہیں بڑی سوشل شخصیت ہیں ان کی اور ماشاء اللہ سفیر پاکستان سے بڑا کوآپریشن بھی کرتے رہتے ہیں اور بڑی ہماری پسندیدہ شخصیت ہیں جناب زبیر صاحب ہمیشہ جب بھی نیو جرسی جائیں تو ہی از آلویز ویلکم آز تو آج آپ کی ملاقات ہوگی ڈاکٹر ارشد زبیر صاحب سے جو لنگس کے پھیپڑوں کے ڈاکٹر ہیں اور وہ کچھ بتائیں گے لنگس کے بارے میں بھی اور کچھ اپنی زندگی کے بارے میں بھی ناظرین تو آئیے آپ کی ملاقات کراتے ہیں ڈاکٹر ارشد زبیر صاحب سے ملازہ فرمائیے یہ خصوصی ملاقات ناظرین آپ کا مہربان وقعی خان اس وقت نیو جرسی سے حاضر خدمت ہے آپ کو پتا ہے کہ یہ میرا لانگ وزٹ ہے آواز ان پٹسبرگ نیو یارک اور اب میں نیو جرسی میں ہوں اور آج میری ملاقات ہے جناب ڈاکٹر محمد ارشد زبیر جو پلمری کے ایکسپرٹس ہیں اور ماشاء اللہ اپنے شعبے میں کافی تجربہ رکھتے ہیں اور وہ خود بتائیں گے آپ کو کہ کن کن ہاسپٹل میں وہ ان کی سروسز ہیں خدمات ہیں اور میں کیوں ان کا انٹرویو کر رہا ہوں کیا وجہ ہے ایکچولی میں نیو جرسی کئی سال سے آ رہا ہوں اور میں سمجھتا ہوں کہ یہ میرا ایک سیکنڈ ہوم ہے اور میرے کافی دوست احباب یہاں رہتے ہیں اسپیشلی دا فزیشین کمیونٹی اور میں نے ان کو ہمیشہ دیکھا ہے بہت ہی ایکٹیو نیو جرسی میں جب بھی میں نے کوئی ایونٹ دیکھی یا چیپٹر کی یا لمنائی کی اپنا سے متعلق ہی آلویز آن دا فور فرنٹ از ویری ایکٹیو اور کہتے ہیں نا کہ پرخلوص ہو کے یہ کام کرتے ہیں بغیر کسی ریوارڈ کے یہ آگے بڑھ کے کام کرتے ہیں اور یہ کئی بار ان کی رپورٹس میں نے بھی آن ایئر کی ہیں نیو جرسی کی کئی چیپٹرس کو میں نے آن ایئر کیا ہے سفیر پاکستان پہ اور ہم آپ کو پتہ ہے جیو سفیر پاکستان بہت کلوزلی اپنا سے کام کر رہے ہیں ماشاء اللہ پندرہ سال ہو گئے ہیں اپنا کے ساتھ کام کرتے ہو مجھے اور آپ مجھے بڑی مسرت ہوئی میں کہتے شخص کو انٹرویو کر رہا ہوں جس نے اپنا نیو جرسی کو فاؤنڈ کیا اپنا کے لیے بہت بہتر کام کیا تو آئیے ملاقات کرتے ہیں جناب ڈاکٹر محمد ارشد زبیر صاحب سے جو نیو نیو جرسی بیسڈ ہیں اور ایک بہت ہی مخلص اور پرخلوص انسان ہیں زبیر صاحب السلام علیکم السلام علیکم وقار بھائی ویلکم ٹو نیو جرسی خیریت سے ہیں آپ جی بالکل ڈیفینیٹلی مجھے بڑی خوشی ہو رہی ہے آپ سے ملاقات ہو رہی ہے اور آپ نے اپنا قیمتی وقت نکالا تو اس سے پہلے کہ میں باقاعدہ انٹرو کا آغاز کروں میں چاہوں گا کہ آپ ہمارے آڈینس کو اپنے بارے میں کچھ بتائیں کہ آپ نے کون سے کالج سے پڑھا کب امریکہ آئے اور کن کن عہدوں پر آپ فائز ہیں تاکہ ہمارے آڈینس بالکل ایجوکیش ایجوکیٹڈ ہو جائیں آپ کے بارے میں آپ کی پرسنالٹی کے بارے میں یوں تو آپ کو لوگوں نے دیکھا ہے دے نو بائی نیم آف زبیر ڈاکٹر زبیر از ویری پاپولر نیم نیو جرسی نیو یارک ان ٹرائل اسٹیٹ ان اپنا میں امریکہ آئی کیم ٹو امریکہ اباؤٹ نائنٹین ایٹی ٹو ٹو and uh, looking for uh, getting to medical schools. So at that time, uh, I entered into Ross University School of Medicine. I did my undergraduate at uh, West Indies and came to United States uh, about uh, 16 months afterward doing my clinical rotations. I got settled in New Jersey 
at that time, I did my fourth year rotation mostly at New Jersey. And uh, at present time, uh, I'm a chairman of uh, medicine department at uh, Beyond Medical Center. I'm former uh, director of uh, pulmonary medicine at Beyond Medical Center and also director of uh, Woodbury Sleep Disorder Center. I have private practice. I also teach at uh, Newark Beth Israel Medical Center. Uh, and uh, in the private practice, I see all kind of patient, especially related to pulmonary sleep disorder. In hospital, I do mostly critical care medicine. And uh, as uh, Vakar Bhai just said, that I've been active in community especially in Pakistani community in, uh, through APNA, especially APNA, New Jersey, who I founded in 2003 with the help of Dr. Mahmoud Alam, who is a former uh, president of Central APNA, and Dr. Shoka Chaudhary, who is a cardiologist practice in New Jersey. And uh, since then, we come long away in, uh, in APNA, and uh, brought APNA uh, much different level in the central APNA. And uh, mashallah, we have growing membership, uh, which is uh, more than 200 doctors actively participating in community work today. Dr. Sahib, I'm very happy to tell you, mashallah, our audience about it. And this a very remarkable thing that you have come from the Caribbean. और एक ये बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है कि आपके पीछे कोई इतनी बड़ी अलमनाई नहीं है लेकिन आप अपने के अंदर बड़े मुताहरिक हैं बहुत वाइब्रेंट आपकी पर्सनालिटी और आप आगे बढ़कर काम करते हैं और मुझे उम्मीद है कि वन डे यू विल गैदर ऑल द क्रेबियंस स्टूडेंट ऑन अ वन प्लेटफॉर्म यस यस डेफिनेटली यू रियली डोंट नीड जस्ट योर एलमनाई बिहाइंड यू वी आर मच बिगर एज ए अपना मेंबर and all APNA member, their uh, work for the community is because who they are from Pakistani descent uh, physician. They desire to work for the community, not only here, but also abroad, brought us together uh, where we can take our Pakistani community to a different level. Um, and, and I'm proud of it that uh, all alumni are working together. And mashallah, no Caribbean alumni with the help of uh, Dr. Riyaz Chaudhary, Dr. Nadeem uh, uh, Ahmed, uh, who is uh, president and president-elect, worked hard to bring Caribbean alumni together. So, so we can, we can the, the, our alumni is changing, and not only APNA uh, Caribbean alumni is changing, the whole APNA community is changing. Now we're seeing more and more uh, Pakistani origin physician who are trained in America, who are our kids and our uh, nephew and nieces. And I think it's a very important to bring them abroad and uh, bring them under one platform where we as a community uh, can work together. Excellent. Uh, that's a uh, great thing you're doing. And I'm very happy to know that one of the Ross graduates I'm talking. So tell us a little bit Ross Medical College because a lot of student is still planning to go to college. They're still there planning to what profession they're going to be in, you know, but I have seen few good graduates from Ross Medical College. I think you are one of them. Today I never know that you are from Ross Medical College. So tell us about the Caribbean medical education a little bit to our audience. I think this is a great opportunity for our uh new uh, youngster who are interested in medicine and uh, somehow could not get to American Medical School, and uh, which is very competitive, very tough to get in. And uh, that does not mean they cannot become a successful doctors and help the community and fulfill their desire to do what they like to do. Uh, there is option going back to Pakistan and graduating there, but this is close very close to American education. You do your basic sciences in the island where most of the teachers are American uh, graduate teaching there. And then for your third and fourth year, you end up in America, most of the American hospital, getting your education in American hospitals, uh, state of the art. 
and uh, then you are uh, second to none when you finish. And mashallah, <laughs> mashallah, you will see our uh, Caribbean schools, uh, many of our you know, kids and uh, nephews and nieces going there and uh, coming along uh, and uh, doing well in uh, their standing in the exams and in subspecialty, getting into all kind of subspecialty, neurosurgery, neurology, orthopedic, cardiothoracic, you name it, they are there. And I'm proud of it to say that uh, this is uh, very important that uh, as a Caribbean alumni, we can guide them that uh, how they can get admission, go there, and just 16 to 18 months they need to spend in the island, and they are back to United States wow, getting their education. That's, uh, it's excellent. And do you have any more idea about the cost? Uh, unfortunately, cost is uh, much higher than what we see in Pakistan medical schools. Uh, it is comparative to American medical school, where semester cost uh, becomes uh, about uh, fifteen to twenty thousand dollar. But living expenses are very reasonable because it is the islands where the houses are cheaper, food is cheaper, uh, but the fees is there about fifteen to twenty thousand dollar per semester. But American grant cover those. Yes. That's another very good news that you can apply as a regular student loan in these uh, school, especially I know of Ross University, that you will get same loan and rate what you get for American medical school and you pay off as you do the residency. Especially I know some of my nephews who went there, mashallah, doing uh, very well in the practice, being cardiologists in internal medicine and very comfortably they can pay their loan easily just like American graduate students. Oh, excellent. That's, uh, that's another good thing that if you are thinking of planning to go to the Caribbean, that's a good advice and you can contact uh, Dr. Zubair for more information. I think uh, uh, it's a very good ideal opportunity. You spend 18 months and you're back to America. Excellent. Yes, yes. It's, a, it's a very important to see that it's not three to four years it's a very few months where you finish up your basic science. Very uh, aggressive uh, course that you have to go through the courses. <laughs> Tough education, but mashallah, smart kids should not have any problem in that. Excellent. That's a, one thing is very important that you I mean, told us about your activities in the hospital, your responsibilities in the hospitals, your own practice, and how you get your time to really serve the apna, you know, apna involvement is huge. Yes, Vikar Bhai, you are right. You need to commit yourself. I think all of us, even in our daily activities, day and night, we are busy in practice with the family issues, with the kids, time giving to the kids and the family. And I think if you really want, you have insight that you want to do charitable work. Just, just, just what is charitable work? What apna does? that we can take some time, few hours in a week away from our house and from our uh, practice and give to, to, to the um, unfortunate and uh, who need it. Not only here in uh, America, but also back home in Pakistan, which uh, as you guys know, Vukar Bhai, that as a Apna, New Jersey, we just opened Apna, New Jersey free clinic. Oh, that's uh, awesome. That's a uh, very encouraging. That's uh, where every Sunday we will see a patient, charity patient, without any charge from 9 to 1. And uh, it is a dream come true for the New Jersey chapter with the help of uh, present pres uh, President Dr. Shahda Bas, past President Dr. Shahnaz Akhtar, and all the old president and trustee and the member who are very enthusiastic in this cause. And I think it's bringing the whole community to another level where we can proudly say we are part of the community. We one, are helping. The, the, I'm sorry to interrupt you. The one good thing in your free clinic, you are in the hospital. Yes. I think this is one of the exclusive in nationwide. Bukarbai, you are right. It is, it is a very good opportunity for us that we had very kind JFK Medical Center, especially the Vice President, Dr. Belozer, friend of ours, friend of our community, who is, by the way, one of the director of our APNA New Jersey uh, free clinic, helped us a lot where we got the space in the hospital behind the emergency room 
And not only they give us the space free of charge almost, $1 per year, and also they're providing their nursing who volunteer for us. They're providing their nursing student who help us. They're providing us uh, all the ancillary services, including beds and the sheets and daily expense things, free of wow, charge. Wow, that's awesome. You got a lottery yes. for the free clinic. Uh, Nadarin, this is an awesome uh, model. Believe me, this is awesome, great model that you have a free clinic within the hospital. And you're getting all the facilities, even MRI, even X-rays, even equipments. I think that the other people, the other free clinic should work with their hospital and convince them and show them this model. This is unbelievable. How you got this done? Tell me. This is again going back to our root uh, work of this, uh, this whole thing. Get involved in your community. This is the part of us, that we cannot just go to our office, come home, and think that's a success of American success. To get real American success, I think we need to make bridges between our community and the local community, between our office and the hospital, between us and the hospital administration. And I think the hospital administration was very comfortable working with us. They knew us for many years. Mm -hmm. that these are the doctors who are day and day basis works with our patient, provide the charity care. When we approached to them, their answer was, I, Dr. Rahman, uh, uh, Farooq Rahman was with me in this venture. Mm -hmm. We went to administration and we just asked them, this is what we like to do. And they asked us how we can help. Tell us what we need to do. This is the remarkable achievements. Yes. And I salute you and I salute other physicians who's a part of it. And Thank then you. we have to really uh, also recognize the hospital. Yes, yes, definitely. That's a big role. See, this is, this is what it is, bridges, the partnership with the local community. I think it's a very important for our community to do that. So we, it's not only that we need to help community abroad in Pakistan, this is our community too. We need to show up in our schools, in our community with this election today. We need to come out and register our votes. We need to come out and say, I am willing to do the bake sale in school for the, all the causes. We went to school, our kids went to schools through the Red Cross, raised the money from the last five year or every disaster happened in the world. It could be $100, $200, $500, doesn't matter. Let your kids go in the community and represent themselves and say, here we are as a community to be part of it. I think it's very important. Uh, Dr. Sam, I'm coming to the APNA now. Uh, what's your opinion about APNA in general as an organization? I think APNA is a great organization. And I, I say this, I've been life member, been many years involved in a many committees, it's very easy for some of the people to get frustrated. Yes, it does not come some time to at that level where individual people wish that APNA should represent certain things and one day it should change and make a difference in the whole world. But we need to look at the smaller achievement day-to-day -day basis that APNA is done. Number one, I salute all the president, past president, executive council, the trustees who take their time and willing to spend time and energy in this cause. Mm -hmm. what, what they achieve, yes, there are photo session and meet people, but understand it, that is a bigger cause. Bigger cause is that when there is community representation, they represent us. They are there taking their time off attending the meetings. They are there when the disaster happens in this country okay. to provide their services and represent the community. They are there, I can give you example, very small example for New Jersey chapter with collaboration of the Central APNA when Tariq Manzoor was president at uh, Central APNA. We as a New Jersey chapter, when there was, uh, earth, there was uh, floods in Pakistan, from Gilgit to Karachi, I think every city was involved. All the, uh, all the fields were full with the water and the towns were under the water. Mm -hmm. Pakistani government could not reach to those villages. Dr. 
Iqbal Jafri, he was the single-handedly say to me and said, Dr. Zubair, we gotta do something for this community. So we get together within a few days and we raise funds in New Jersey chapter. Central Apna matches the fund. Dr. Iqbal Jafri took a team from here, went to Badin, Khairpur, into the town and villages where even government officials could not get there. Why don't you have your own office and staff in Pakistan? Yes, Bukhar Bhai, that was issue for many years. And uh, I'm glad to tell you, we do have now. We do have a staff in there. There was some uh, obstacle there. No, just right now, the floods are there at this moment. And we have our teams there who represent us. And some of them even on, I believe, on payroll of Apna, who are working in that community to represent us. And at uh, the same time, it is a great gratification and satisfaction for the members to go there themselves. And as you know, any disaster happened in Pakistan, APNA is there to provide their membership opportunity to go there and help at local level, and we will continue to do that. How to keep the good lungs and healthy lungs? It's like uh, overall health starts that uh, you take care of your own health, aware of your own health. Since we are immigrant, come in this country, we become workaholic. We wanna get to that level where all immigrant uh, population do work day and night and forget their own health. And I think uh, this is a big mistake. If we have our own health, that's the biggest success. You can earn a million dollar, being a 50 years old, end up with diabetes, asthma, heart attack, and nobody is there to take care of that million dollar. Your kids don't even can go forward, who can guide them. And I think if when I invest, invest on your own health. And being on your own health, as a, as a pulmonologist, I can tell you, one of the common disease in immigrant is asthma. Yes. Reason is to change the environment. Your body was not prepared for the new environment, new dust, new particles, the cockroach. We don't see in Pakistan. We have here a lot. We don't see dust mite in Pakistan. There's no carpet. Here we do have it. Indoor pollution, we don't have in Pakistan. Here we do have. Pakistan pollution is different kind. And as people land here, not only Pakistan immigrant, immigrant other two, they end up with reactive airway. Asthma become worse. They get little bronchitis, and next thing they have asthma. Now what happens when you have asthma? Many of the immigrants, they ignore their health. This is a preventable disease. Millions of people dying with asthma, which is totally preventable. What is, how to prevent is, just get to know your allergies. What your allergy, what your triggers are. Is this cold weather? Is it your uh, dust mite? Is this uh, your cockroaches in the house? Is this animal, cat, dog? You know, it's very easy. Easily you can find the answer just being a blood test, which will tell you. Once you have the diagnosis, go to your physician. Simple one visit. $50, $100, mashallah, no, you have apna free clinics. In New Jersey, come yes. to <laughs> our clinic, will help you. So once you know that, this is simple inhaler to just avoid life-threatening emergency. You don't have an inhaler, anything, what you have to do? Pray and uh, take it easy. Don't get nervous. Don't uh, feel, it's a air hunger. People feel like they're gonna die, they're gonna choke. The worst feeling you can have, it's just like a drowning person can have a feeling. And I think when people get nervous and panic, it can hurt more. Then they need more oxygen, their muscles working more. The key is try to calm down, relax. Take a nice deep breath in and out. Even it is becoming easy, uh, hard to breathe, Call 911. Wherever you are, call 911. If you can reach the healthcare, very important thing. Some people avoid that and they reach to death. If you look at in our New Jersey and New York, Harlem, Bronx, Newark, young people, 30s, 40, dying with asthma in Western country, America, the best healthcare available. Why? 
they hesitated to call 911. So you don't have an inhaler. Calm down, relax, call somebody. Call 911. What is the symptom of the lung cancer early? Early lung cancer, unfortunately, there's no symptoms. Only thing you can do is, which new studies are coming, that if you are a smoker for many years, more than 20 and 30 years, you are 55 and older, go get a surveillance CAT scan of your chest. New study shows by catching the lung cancer in early stage, you can have a cure. Cure is take the lung cancer out. The best thing and the most effective thing you can do for your cancer is do not smoke. If you do smoke, do not smoke around your loved ones. And any, the, any best thing you want to do for yourself, if you are a smoker, stop smoking. Is a sinuses cause asthma or bronchitis? bronchitis? Very good question. The studies are showing, especially kids, that recurrent sinusitis, recurrent inflammation of the respiratory tract, like bronchitis and flu, can lead you to irritable airway, and that leads to asthma. If you, as a childhood, try to prevent the recurrent infections, which is commonly happen with allergies, it can prevent asthma attack and onset of asthma. Yes, you are right that avoid sinusitis, rhinitis, bronchitis, and that's usually the leading cause of asthma and the patient end up with uh, lifelong asthma. Doctor, mashallah, Pakistan se hai, Pakistan se aapka taluk hai. Thoda main Pakistan ki taraf liye chalta hoon aapko. Chhe chhe. Brief mujhe bataiye. कि पाकिस्तान में जो हालात हो रहे हैं रोनुमा उसे आप कितना कंसर्न है? बहुत कंसर्न है, बट किस्मती है हमारी कि हमें वो लीडर नहीं मिल सके जो हमें चाहिए और बट किस्मती से बहुत अच्छे लीडर जो हैं वो मुल्क से बाहर चले जा रहे हैं ला एंड और एंड जो लोगों की प्रोटेक्शन है जो ये अगवा एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर कमिंग स्केरी वेरी कंसर्निंग एंड आई थिंक देर आर मेनी फिजिशियन हु हैव देर डिजाइर टू गो बैक टू पाकिस्तान टू सर्व पाकिस्तान देर सो डेडिकेटेड व्हेन दे लुक एंड लॉ एंड ऑर्डर दे कैट स्केयर आई हैव फ्रेंड्स इन न्यूजर्सी राइट हियर हु 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 यू नो एक्सप्रेस देर विशेस दे कैन गो टू पाकिस्तान एस्टेब्लिश द हॉस्पिटल Matter of fact, participate in leadership and change the country. When they look and lie in order, they get scared. And uh, but still, I think uh, one thing which I will appreciate and uh, praise the democracy in Pakistan. We see that this government, completing five year of their, uh, you know, government, uh, which is important. I think opposition and army all should take credit for that. But my, I, my concern is there that on the community, on the city, when I look at the community, the little small factories are disappearing. Little small, those manufacturing are going to Bangladesh and going to other countries. This is my great concern. The KFC is closing down in Pakistan. Restaurants are closing down. The, uh, the foreign investment is going to disappear. Uh, the friends and the family we see coming to America, they are abandoning their factories because law and order. They are afraid. There is no electricity. There is no protection for their own kids, and I think is we all worry as a community. We hope, we pray that uh, God will give uh, some guidance to our leaders uh, and uh, go to the right direction. Doctor, आप जानने से पहले आपसे चाहूँगा कि आपके ख़ुशुसी मैसेज अगर आप हमारे आदेश को देना चाहते हैं. So as a community member living in America, we all American. with the Pakistani descent. And I think it's our duty uh, that uh, being an American citizen, we become part of this community. And uh, we participate in our mosque, in our schools, in our uh, uh, daily activities, where we should be proud that uh, being American. And then be proud that we are Pakistani descent. Once we have that, that we are proud of this inheritance. This is our culture. 
we, nothing will stop us to be excellent in this community. Like if Akar Bhai asked me how we are able to uh, make JFK Hospital agree to give us all the space and ancillary services. So these are the bridges we, we, we created and we made with this community that, uh, and I, I, I will, I will uh, you know, request all my uh, fellow citizen actively Please participate in your community, community activities. Take your kid out in the community and uh, be part of it. Invite your neighbors to at your home. Uh, have a, um, a street party where you make sure you have Pakistani food and uh, Pakistani culture uh, representing you and the community. We are the ambassador for Pakistan in this country. And uh, yet, we are American citizen. And whatever you do, do with your heart. Dr. Saab, Janathan Pele, how big family do you have? I have uh, uh, two boys. Uh, my older uh, son is at, uh, in Georgetown Medical School. I'm proud of him. Uh, my younger son is an undergrad at uh, Johns Hopkins. My wife, Saira Zubair, she's a physician, graduated from Pakistan Ravel Pindi alumni. She helps me in my sleep disorder center, runs it. She's a uh, managing director at the place. And mashallah, my father, he's back and forth from Pakistan. And my sister is here, Dr. Shanaz Akhtar, you know her. She's past sure, president of APNA chapter. Yes, my two brothers are here. And mashallah, this is our home now. And we are in America. Uh, what is your hobby? My hobby, uh, really, if uh, uh, frankly, to the be community person, be available for the community, and uh, do what I can do for the community and my family. Uh, that's beyond uh, all the other hobbies. If I can achieve that for the community, bringing the community together, my desires are fulfilled, and I'm happy. Excellent. You think enough, Doctor? Zubair Sahib, Mayre Lance, Hamari Udu me kehte na, ke phepro ke doctor, Pakistan me kaha jata hai, aur aapko ne badi isi jee baatein ki aaj, apna ke baare me khul ke baat ki, badi detail me, aur mujhe badi khushi hai, ki apna ke liye ek azm rakhte hai, ek irada rakhte hai, aur apna ek bhoot hi achhi organization hai, mein ke saath saal saal se kaam kar raho, aur har physician se mein interest raho, mashallah. और इन शाह होता है कि कमी बेशी हो जाती है हर आदमी परफेक्ट नहीं होता हर आदमी कुछ ज़्यादा करता है कुछ कम करता है लेकिन हमें हर इंसान को अप्रिशिएट करना चाहिए डॉक्टर साहब बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया आपके वक्त का और टाइम का और जाने से पहले सफ़ी पाकिस्तान आपको कैसा लगता है माशा थैंक यू वेरी मच वकार भाई आपकी कम्यूनिटी की खिदमत के लिए आपने हमेशा कम्यूनिटी की एक्टिविटीज़ को आगे ला के पाकिस्तानी कल्चर को आगे लाए हैं आप और बगैर किसी किसी आ, वो के इसमें कोई आपका जाति नहीं है लेकिन मेरा ख्याल सभी स्टेट्स में पूरे अमेरिका में अपना अप्रिशिएट करता है व्हाट यू आर डूइंग फॉर द कम्युनिटी एंड वी अप्रिशिएट थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर योर चैरिटेबल वर्क फॉर द कम्युनिटी थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू नादिन तो वक्त हुआ चाहता है आपके मशहूर सेगमेंट लोकल ग्लोबल नादिन आज के लोकल ग्लोबल में हम ला रहे हैं आप लीग ऑफ यूएसए जिसको फिल्म बंद किया है हमारे लिए जनाब जहांगीर लोधी साहब ने जो कि हमारे ब्यूरो चीफ हैं न्यूयॉर्क में अगर आपको कोई भी रिपोर्ट डलवानी हो या दिखानी हो सिर्फ पाकिस्तान में तो न्यूयॉर्क में आप जहांगीर लोधी से ज़रूर रबता कायम कीजिए नादिन तो आइए देखते हैं ये रिपोर्ट Uh, Excellency uh, Ambassador 
I would just like to tell you a little about Pakistan League of USA. This is socio-cultural organization which has absolutely nothing to do with the politics of US politics or Pakistani politics. We have members from all walks of life. They could be doctors, engineers, businessmen, professionals of all different types and they do belong to all different parties. We have several members, many, many members from Pakistan People's Party, many, many members from Muslim League, many from Jamal Islami and Tariq uh, Kaysaf, National Movie Party, etc., etc. But when we get together on this platform, we are one, we are Pakistani Americans. Our homeland, at this point, what we believe our country is the United States of America. We do our very best to be productive, productive citizens, help our fellow Americans, and be exemplary citizens. So when people talk about Pakistan and Pakistani Americans, they should have positive view about them. I do want to thank and, and appreciate this opportunity that the Pakistan League of the United States has given me the honor, the respect, and the time. These days, in the 21st century, ladies and gentlemen, we all know how valuable time is. It is the one resource that we can't take back, and it is, for many of us, the one resource we can't buy, among a few other things. So thank you for this, and I look forward to uh, reaching out to you, interacting with you, and speaking with you. Uh, and also hearing from you what we can do for you, just like I heard from the Honorable President what he feels this organization and this group of wonderful Pakistani Americans can do for Pakistan. So thank you, and well, from the bottom of my heart, please accept my appreciation for not just this evening, but standing up for Pakistan when it counts. Uh, I hope that that will always be the case. I hope that you will always come together like this, make ourselves proud, and unite the community in an expression and articulation of Pakistani culture, identity, uh, and the ability to come together, not just at difficult times, but to celebrate our great country, our culture. And as I see that you have uh, expressed allegiance to this country, it has given you opportunities, it has given you more than uh, I can certainly ever hope to know uh, about your individual lives and your collective experiences. But clearly they have been rewarding and uh, I congratulate you for the success that you have made in another country, uprooted yourselves, uh, brought yourselves here, uh, and started new journeys, uh, launched with great hopes, dreams, and ambitions for your children, for your future, for your families, for your security, and most of all, opportunity. I also am deeply touched and appreciative and thankful to Pakistani Americans. I always notice I have been touring while Congress takes a break because that's where I'm usually running around in Washington. Uh, I've noticed that I've been to large concentrations of the Pakistani community in the United States this month, every weekend pretty much on the road because it is vital for me, my embassy, and for this excellent consulate to be engaged with Pakistani Americans. Um, we have many core jobs, we have many core uh, things that we do here in the United States. I say she is a great parliamentarian. 
writer, and I hope he will prove to be great ambassador also. जिसके लिए हम सब लोग मुंजिर थे अवार्ड सेरेमनी होगी और मैं आपको बताता चलूं मैं फाखरा हक साहब से गुजारिश करूंगा कि तशरीफ लाएं और उनका तारीफ करूं फाखरा हक साहब शी अमंग द बिग थिंग्स दैट शी हैज डन शी इज वन ऑफ द फाइनेस्ट स्पोक्स पर्सन फॉर वुमेन एंड she was an architect in removing the honor killing bill which is a big big thing in pakistan she was also against hudood ordinance she passed the repeal she repealed that law and this has given women a lot of freedom uh with hina khan who is the Foreign Minister of Pakistan, uh, as an ambassador, she adds so much more color and so much more glamour to our country, our uh, home country, where we have all our roots. And uh, our daughter, who works to the State Department, has some very kind words for her. शान जलते आम उनतीस अक्टूबर को इमरान खान हमारे दरमियान होंगे तब्दीली का तूफान आ चुका है और तब्दीली आकर रहेगी बासलाइत आज मुदा बा किरदार हौसलमंद महबुल वतन इमरान खान लॉसेंजलिस में खिताब करेंगे भरपूर शिरकत कीजिए और अपने टिकट आज ही खरीद दीजिए नादीन तो आपने देखा आज का प्रोग्राम मुझे उम्मीद है कि आपको प्रोग्राम पसंद आया होगा जैसा कि आप जानते हैं कि बहुत से प्रोग्राम आने वाले हैं एन का एक फंक्शन हो रहा है लॉस एंजलिस में एच का एक फंक्शन हो रहा है लॉस एंजलिस में इसके अलावा अपने की फॉल मीटिंग का आगाज़ हो रहा है शिकागो में जिस वीक से तो दिस सो मनी गोइंग ऑन सिस्टर सिटी का एक प्रोजेक्ट है जो सत्रह तारीख को है दिस सो मनी थिंग गोइंग ऑन अराउंड अमेरिका अगर आपकी भी कोई ऐसी न्यूज़ हो खबर हो कोई स्टोरी हो तो हम तक पहुँचाएँ ताकि हम आवाम तक पहुँचाएँ नाजीन सफ़ी पाकिस्तान आपकी आवाज़ और आपकी पहचान रबतों का एक नाम सफ़ी पाकिस्तान सफ़ी पाकिस्तान से मुतरक रहिए और रबतों को बढ़ाते रहिए इसके साथ ही आपका मेज़बान वक़ीर खान आपसे जाया जाएगा अल्लाह हाफ पाकिस्तान पाइंदाबाद